Yo, what's good, yo? Welcome back to another One Piece card opening with me, Errol Ampelokyu. <laughs> so, um, cool. I am not gonna lie, uh, I'm really excited about this. I have been enjoying doing these card openings. I don't know if I'm doing it right or whatever. I don't really know. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this stuff, but I'm having fun, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm really excited to get a chance to play this game and try it out, so, um, I'm a big nerd for board games and card games, so I'm really excited about this. So, um, yeah, the last two episodes we opened up two starter packs, the Big Mom starter pack and the Yamato starter pack, and those are starter decks uh, 7 and 9. Um, and now, uh, and I'm running a yellow deck as of right now, so, um, so we're gonna try and build that, um, and if we get anything in these booster packs we'll see what happens and with that being said we're gonna be opening up a booster pack today and today's booster pack is the pillars of strength one piece booster pack boom so as you can see there's katakuri there and there's um that dude uh from i i, I i'm trying to remember uh like it starts with an l um that's his name i forgot but uh the dude from uh, CP0 and stuff, so um, yeah. This is the Pillars of Strength One Piece card game booster pack. So I don't know the right way to open this, so if you do know, let me know in the comments below and we'll figure it out. But there's 12 cards in here. Uh, I bought all of these actually at uh, TCG Core um, in Pasadena, so go check them out. Cool. Shout out. Uh, don't know if they were asking for one, but yeah, let's do this. So, um, yeah, they recommended this one for me. So let's open this up. If there's a proper way to open, uh, booster packs, let me know in the comments below and I will adjust the way I do this. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. I don't know if I'm supposed to put on gloves or something, but we'll see. I think there's supposed to be a tear mark here. Yeah, there's a little tear over here. I don't want to like bend the cards and stuff like that. So. Let's see, I, I hope that I have that right at least. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. This is like really fun, but kind of nerve wracking. So let's see. Okay, I don't know which way this is gonna be facing, and I don't, I wanna get like a real reaction here. So let's just uh, see what we got here. So, boom, first card. We have the sham green card. Um, this is a character card, counter plus 1,000 as well. On play, if your leader has the East Blue type, rest up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. And if you don't have Bucci, play up to one Bucci from your hand. So if you have Bucci and Sham, it's a good combination. And they're from the Black Cat Pirates. It is a 4,000 power level and a three cost card, and it's a green deck. So I don't really know what green deck priority is, but here you go. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Okay. All right. Let's see. That is a 4,000 power level and a 2 cost. We have Genzo, uh, counter plus 1,000. Genzo is from uh, the Nami arc, basically. And if you've seen the live action, uh, you see Genzo, actually. He's the one with the little uh, wheel thing, pinwheel thing. Cool. Next one. All right. This is a 5,000 power level with a 3 cost, and it's a purple deck. This one is Minor Mino Rhinoceros. Mino Rhinoceros. If your leader has the Impel Down type, draw two cards and trash one card from your hand. Interesting. So this is like a hand kind of like builder. Um, on KO. So on KO, if your leader has the Impel Down type, Draw two cards and trash one card from your hand. Mino Rhinoceros. Next card. Ooh, alright. This is a 4 cost and a 6,000 power level. We have Kumadori, uh, which is a CP9. Uh, this is a black character card um, and it's a counter plus 1,000. card. Oh, this is a yellow card. I can use this. This is a 2 cost, and that's a 4,000. 
We got Bob and the Disposer. Uh, it has a counter plus 1,000. So and counters uh, when someone's attacking you. If you're blocking or defending, you can use a counter from your hand to um, add power to the card that's being attacked. Next card. Boom. We got the Anis Lobby stage card. The trigger is to play the card, and when you activate it, you may rest this stage. If your leader's type includes CP, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn. Interesting. Interesting why you would want to give minus two cost to your opponent's characters. Hmm. Not really sure. Not really sure what that means. Next up. Ooh, another yellow card. Let's fucking go. That's a two. Cause is the Thunderbolt event card. You may trash one card from the top of your life cards. KO up to one of your opponent's cards with a cost of five or less. That's actually really powerful. And it's a trigger card as well. So you can KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less. That's really sick. That's cool. I like that. Next one. Boom. A blue card. This is a three cost. We have an event. Sanji's Pilaf. Uh, this is an event card, so draw two cards, and uh, there's a trigger, activate this card's main effect, which is draw two cards. So, it's cool. Next card. Ooh, another yellow card, let's go. This is a three cost and a 3,000. I think this is Napoleon, actually. Oh, I'm also reading everything backwards, I just realized that. So, um, yeah, this is Napoleon, though, I can tell from the animation. Napoleon is Big Mom's hat that she made uh, come to life. I can use this card. Uh, counter plus 1000. Um, the trigger is to play the card. And the activation is you may rest this character. Up to one of your Charlotte Linlin cards gains plus 1000 power until the start of your next turn, which is cool. So if I run the Big Mom Charlotte Linlin leader deck, I can give plus 1000 to Charlotte if I rest this card. And the next card. Oh, we got a piece. Let's go. Porka's the ace. Dope. This is sick. So there's a this is a 5,000, and I think this is a leader card actually. So um, cool. So I can actually start making a red deck uh, with this Porka's the ace. That's sick. It has five life, uh, 5,000 power level. When this leader attacks or is attacked, you may trash any number of event or stage cards from your hand. This leader gains plus 1,000 power during this battle for every card trash. And next card. Ooh, we got a rare card at least. Uh, this is a 4 cost and a 4,000. We have Khalifa, CP9, another black card. Counter plus 2,000. On play, draw two cards and trash two cards from your hand. Then give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn. And the Khalifa card is one of the holographic cards. Cool. Dope, another rare in this card. This is a 4 cost and a 5,000 power level. We have the Jin holographic card. This is green. Deck. Uh, counter plus 1,000. On play, if your leader has the East Blue type, rest up to two of your opponent's characters with a cost of 4 or less. That's really cool. Rest up to two of your opponent's characters. I think that's the last one. And we got a Dawn card. Sick. Dope. Nice. Alright. Cool. Man, I am tired from holding those cards up. Jeez, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but cool. Uh, dope. So, uh, yeah, we got some new cards here. That's been the opening of the Pillars of Strength. The Pillars of Strength. That's the opening of the Pillars of Strength booster pack. 12 cards um yeah and hope you enjoyed that uh and i'll see you at the next opening peace